Whoa, hello there! <laughs> I'm old Jebediah from Grave Rock Gulch here, <laughs> and I'm gonna show you the mining area. Settlers back in the day who made this town wanted to have a gold mine, but they disappeared mysteriously, and they say that the souls of all the settlers are in that mine. So let's go check it out! <laughs> the creators of Grave Rock Gulch wanted to make a, an area for the trick-or-treaters to experience what it was like in the old mining towns, but with a twist of Halloween. So, first, you have a mining cart filled with rocks and skulls that have been mined through this mine by this, and there's a, even a little corpse there that has some of the dynamite that I use to blow some of them rocks up to, to bring out some of them skulls. If you look close, you'll notice that the creators of Grave Rock Gulch went to extra long lengths to make sure this is realistic like, like this vegetation here. Oh, pardon my beard. Fake rocks made of bone? Sticks that have been busted and brought to you by nearby parks. Rubber snakes. Lanterns that have been converted. They don't run off gas, but a lot of electricity. Plaster skulls. And even some aloe vera for when you burn your finger on the TNT. Woo-wee! Many of the trick-or-treating kids that came into Grave Rock Gulch got to experience what it was like to detonate the old mine shaft here with this detonating box marked TNT. Let's try it out. We're deep in the heart of the mine shaft. And for the creators of Grave Rock Gulch to achieve such a realistic explosion for trick or treaters to experience, they had to go to great lengths, like using some of the props from last year's haunt. First, you have two strobe lights inside this wooden box here that came from the Sparky prop from last year's graveyard. Then, you have this peekaboo prop, which was placed in front of these LED modules and it would create a sense of shadow on this wall behind me to make it look as if there might be some ghouls or goblins in here mining for the skulls. Then, you have this fog machine here that was ran by one of these remote doohickeys by someone on the outside, and they would push the button at the exact time of the explosion from the detonator box. And watch out for them bats, they got rabies. Woohoo! We're back outside here where the water tower of skulls is. You'll notice that it's decorated with spider webs and Charlotte and this guy right here from Arachnophobia. He's a little tickly. <laughs> and uh, behind here, I wanted to share with you this rigging. Now the creators had a kind of a hard time with this rigging because what would happen is when the rope got wet, it would stretch and then it would dry out and it would shrink and then it would get wet and stretch out. So instead of lagging it to it, they ended up having to use this here seat clamp and it moved from day to day. So that's one way of doing it. Look at this beautifully hand painted sign here that used to be gold, but that ain't worth nothing. Body parts are much better during the Halloween season. Look at that Clydesdale horseshoe. Woo wee, that's some big feet. The water supply for the mining area is real simple. It's run by two pumps. One that starts from up there and flows all the way down here, goes through the water wheel, and down into this here box, and circulates all by itself, moving the ropes. And there ain't no motors. For the water flowing through the actual mining trough, it's on a separate pump system. The water comes in through this here hole and flows into the box. It goes all the way down to this little waterfall and then into the tank where you'll see lots of body parts. 
if you're lucky and then goes out that and falls all the way down to this air hole way down here to this above ground pool now for those trick-or-treaters who were lucky enough to actually get to do the mining and didn't get water all over the front of them, <laughs> they got to pull out such things like fingers, eyeballs, ears, vertebrae, and shoot, even a foot. Well, that just about covers it. And until next time, and thanks for watching, It was a good horse. <laughs> <laughs>